Hey y'all, what's good? Welcome to my very first voice over makeup tutorial. For this one, I'm just going to be explaining to y'all how I do my makeup from top to bottom, full face, decked out. <laughs> and yes, all the items that I'm using throughout the video will be listed in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> So I'm starting off my brows off camera. <laughs> uh, if you guys are interested in a brow tutorial, please let me know. Now starting off in my crease area with the eyeshadow, a beautiful brown color. Ooh wee. I love the eye look that I did for this day. It was so beautiful. And you see I'm just blending that baby all the way out. In that good blending. <laughs> Y'all already know about that good blend. You gotta have that good blend for your crease, okay? Bam. All right, next up it is the mid crease. Uh, I call it mid crease because, you know, the color is just in between the transition and the actual crease color. And as you can see, the mid crease color is being blended in with the crease color and it is looking so beautifully blended and now i'm going in with my transition color and it just gives that beautiful color blend oh my gosh i learned this technique from one of my beauty bloggers i've been following for years and i'm in love <laughs> And now I'm going in on my lid with a beautiful gold shimmer. Well, goldish white, really. A little bit of a cream undertone to it, too. And it's going to make my eyes pop with the next thing I'll be putting on my lid, which I'll be seeing soon. Real popping, yes. And you already know, um, <laughs> I'm not big with cut creases, so... This is how I do my lid overall. <laughs> Love it. So simple. And there you go. You got that pressed glitter that I'm putting on top of it. Making that pop. <laughs> you gotta make it pop, y'all. On the real. And yes, the glitter sometimes can get stuck in certain areas. So you have to like even it out the best of your ability. Or else it's just going to look like it's just pile glitter on your <laughs> lid. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, next up, I'm going in with my setting powder. Now, <laughs> y'all like, okay, hold up. You haven't even put on your foundation, concealer, and whatnot. Well, honestly, y'all, this is what I call the reverse method. This is where you put everything underneath your foundation so it can look as natural as possible. So, I'm starting off with my setting powder. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And now, I'm going in with my concealer. Yep, gotta get under the eyes, y'all. Alright, I know sometimes it be creasing up on you, but... <laughs> You know, the concealer can cover up them dark circles under your eyes. <laughs> I know I have them so bad. So, yes, this concealer <laughs> is the best. <laughs> Love it. Um, like I said, um, the name of the items will be in the description box below. And, yes, as you can see, I'm putting the concealer on the highlight points on my faces. Yes, yes, yes. And the nose contouring, y'all about to see how I do that too. It's really good. <laughs> I love it. And then to get that sharp contouring, look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes. You got to get that sharp. Real sharp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going with my concealer brush, blending them concealer out. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Sharpening up. <laughs> As if I have a wing liner on <laughs> I make sure I shop in that baby Ugh. yes looking good looking good looking good <laughs> boom 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 and you see I just go over so many times just to make sure it's a beautiful blend okay 
Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and yeah, um, overall, with a full face, it usually doesn't take me past 30 minutes. Unless I'm being bothered, then that's when it will take longer. But max 30 minutes for me. <laughs> y'all can let me know how long it takes for y'all to do y'all's full face. So I won't feel left out. <laughs> if 30 minutes is too long, please let me know. <laughs> But yes, huh, yep. You just gotta go over it over and over and over. Make sure it doesn't crease up on you. Yes, it looks hideous when it's creased up on you. <laughs> oh man, love it. Bam. All right, my contour stick is next. Now that's where like my bronzer, my power bronzer be going. I'm using the cream contour stick to help out my contour even better. It makes it look really popping underneath my foundation. Y'all will see that. Yep, there goes my nose contouring too. Bam. <laughs> yep, you wanna get under them lips uh, where my chin chin is that. Love it. And then, yes, to shape up my forehead so my forehead won't look too big. <laughs> yep. Just got to get that nicely toned. Toned. And then I blend that baby out. Yes. Get that sharp contour in. Ah, love it. I just love this technique overall. Being underneath the foundation. Watch, you guys will see how natural will be underneath. Oh, so natural is crazy. <laughs> you be like, oh my God, did you even put on a full face, Mari? Yes, I did. <laughs> Y'all seeing it in full effect throughout this video. Hopefully you guys love it. <laughs> Please do let me know how y'all feel about my technique at the end of the video. Really appreciate that, but yes. And there goes my nose contouring, y'all. You see that? Boom. Yeah, you got to get that real good blend on the nose contouring. Because <laughs> if you don't blend it out, hun, it is not going to look good. Trust me, I had that happen to me before so many times. <laughs> but yes, there you go, my nose contouring. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Getting under my chin, chin, chin. Well, under my lip. <laughs> That's around my chin, chin, chin. And yes, uh, <laughs> because I'm recording and not holding the camera up while I'm doing my makeup, the mirror keeps blocking. <laughs> All right. Yes. Now you can see this beautiful highlighter. Oh, it's a liquid highlighter. And y'all will see the name of it in the description box. It is so radiantly beautiful underneath your foundation. Oh, you're going to see. And yes, I'm putting it on the highlight parts of my face. Looking so popping. Y'all see. <laughs> and y'all already know I'm very silly. So y'all going to see me doing a lot of silly faces. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> Alrighty, now I'm putting dots all over my face. That is my foundation. Foundation. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now this is how I do. I know with other makeup artists, they put it on their sponge or their brush. And then they blend it all over their face. But no, I like doing dots. Mainly because I know where <laughs> the foundation will be going making sure that that blend gets in good there goes my little kabuki brush yes well it ain't little <laughs> not thing i love at all nah my big kabuki brush it's really dense i love it it helps me blend my foundation out the best and as y'all may already seen, I do not use beauty blenders anymore because, uh, I don't know, I just grew out of them. But yes, I love this brush. 
gives that beautiful blend. And do y'all see what I was talking about with everything being underneath my foundation? Like, y'all can already see it's coming together beautifully. Ah, just a beautiful blend. It's like, oh my gosh, I didn't even do nothing to my face yet. <laughs> and yes, of course, the foundation has to settle in. So yeah, it may look a little bit light on me right now, but you will see later in the video that it is the perfect match for moi. If anything, the concealer can be a bit too yellow undertone for me because I do have a mixture of orange and yellow undertones. So yeah, uh, if I can find <laughs> a concealer with both, that would be great. And yes, there goes my highlighter, y'all. Oh my gosh, I used to wear highlighters so much. Like, I used to even put it on my forehead. But <laughs> not anymore. Um, yeah, I try to keep it as subtle as possible. But still make the high points of my face really popping with a highlighter. Oh, yes. There you go. Oh, look at that. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. And now, yep, on my nose, the bridge of my nose. Love it, love it. Uh-huh. My little um, top lip part. And then my chin, chin, chin. Bam! <laughs> now I'm going with my blush. Yep. Yep, the blush, blush, blush. Oh, yes, I also do reverse my fit when it comes to my powder <laughs> items, too. <laughs> So it's highlighter, blush. Yep, the blush, I just put it, yep, underneath the highlighter. <laughs> and a little bit on the nose, just a little bit. <laughs> Love it. And then, yep, there goes my bronzer. I step into my little technique. Love it. It gives a beautiful blend. Ain't too much highlighter, too much blush, nor too much bronzer. It's like all three of them just perfectly blended onto my face. Exactly what I want it. Exactly what I want it. <laughs> and yeah, see what? I don't have to even do that much nose contouring because the cream contour stick already did for me. <laughs> yep, getting under them lips. Yep, yep, there you go. Yup, yup. <laughs> yup, yup. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. And my setting spray. Spray all over my face and then fan it off with my mirror. Yup, there you go. <gasps> and that concludes my video, you guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. There are more of these to come. So stay tuned and I'll see y'all later. Stay safe. God bless.